Hey guys, what's happening? Mobuck here. Um, so I want to talk about this nasty word, preppers. Um, you know, even some of my best friends here on YouTube are trying to uh, get away from being uh, associated with being uh, keyholed into being called a prepper, if you will. Uh, and it's, I kind of called it when uh, I started my Real Day Preppers uh, project. It never really took off. Uh, not a lot of interest in it, so it's kind of died off. It was, a, it was a hell of a lot of work, a hell of a lot of editing. And for the few views that it was getting, it just, it really wasn't worth it. And, and I'm sorry for that, for those of you that did like it. But the point of this video is that I'm, I'm, I'm still proud to call myself a prepper. Um, I will tell anybody I'm a prepper. I don't care. I am who I am. You don't like it. Don't let the door hit you in the ass, you know? Um... It is sad that the 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 man the 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 corporate world has taken hold of this movement and is trying to profit from it in a bad way. Now there's nothing wrong with profiting from it if you're providing an honest and good service, but to be making preppers look like psychos um, and recruiting the the few of us that are a little wacky um, that really hurts us and that kind of that kind of puts that that stigma on the prepper name um, it's really sad I however will stay with being Lobuck prepper the Lobuck prepper I am a prepper I'm proud to say that I'm not the best prepper. I'm not the most knowledgeable prepper. I've got a lot to learn. A lot to learn. I've got a long ways to go. I mean, I believe that you're never done prepping. There's always something else that you could be preparing for, whether it's supplies, whether it's tools, whether it's knowledge, which knowledge, I think, is probably your, your number one prep. Um, but for me, I'm still going to kick back, and if anybody wants to ask me what my channel is about, it's about prepping. Although I do a bunch of goofy-ass videos, it's my channel. I'm going to put up what I want to put up, uh, whether it's drunken campfire videos, uh, product reviews, uh, my dogs, uh, all those things. That's just me. I've always been the type that I could give a shit less if you like me or not. Um, I have enough friends. I don't need any more. If I get more, awesome. Uh, YouTube has blessed me with a lot of really, really, really good friends. That uh, there's a few of them out there that you know that I'm low buck prepper. I, I've got no money, but. They need my help. I'm going to do what I have to do to, to be there by their side. Um, and that's just the way it is. Um, and I think you guys know who, who you are. So, I, I can't convince or I can't tell you how to feel. But I would hope that you would stand strong and not back down from the corporate entities that are turning us against each other or turning the public against us. Uh, I know it is a serious issue. I'm not downplaying that at all. I have gotten the, oh, really? Okay, you're one of those guys, this survivalist with, the, you know, all this. I have gotten that. And you know what? Fine. I don't care. I am who I am, and I'm going to do what I do. I guess that's really all I have to say. Um, just be yourself. If you're a prepper, stand up to it. Just like you would anything else. If you're a real man, real woman, stand up for what you really 
want to be, want to talk about, want to share. Now with that, I do also want to say that for those of you that have kind of moved your channels a little bit away from prepping, but still showing a lot of the prepping skills, just not mentioning the prepping thing as much, I totally respect that. It's your channel. You do whatever you want. I have zero problem with that. I'm just saying what I'm doing. And this is still my YouTube channel, your YouTube channel. You do what you want to do. It's sickening what the corporate world's kind of done to us, but or the, the stigma that they've put on us. But I'm not going to let them bring me down. So there you go. Y'all, it's Sunday. Unfortunately, back to work tomorrow. But back to the grind so that we can prep. So that we can have fun. Because I work to live. I don't live to work. Y'all have a good one. I'll talk to you later.